Hey everyone, Vicky Bunny Angel here with Tricky Love. And we just want to thank all of you for reaching 2,500 likes on the Vicky Bunny Angel Facebook fan page. And as promised, here is our Q&A video to get to know us a little better. So, first things first, the most popular question by far has been, what got us into cosplay? So, uh, can you start? I just do it, it's fun. Oh. Well, for me, um, when I went to my first convention, I actually thought cosplay was mandatory, so that's how I got into the hobby. But once I started, it was a really great experience, so I just kept going at it. Our next question is from Evine Kwan. I love your cosplays and the place you take photos to present your costume and character are so well fitting. How do you find amazing locations for your photo shoots? Well, for me, I always pay attention to my surroundings, either at cons I go to or just in cities I visit. And you really just take in where, oh, that's an appropriate place for that character, or that's a cool looking place. Any, any kind of surrounding you want to just remember it in your head. Either it's grungy, it's elegant, um, industrial, whatever. Just have a mental bank of places in your mind, I guess. So question number three from Lawrence Brenner. What is your favorite meme that has involved you? Um, I'm not sure if I'm really a meme or not, but I guess the uh, Arcade Sona and MLZ Studio meme is the funniest one that's um, appeared so far of me. So I guess we'll go with that. Our next question is from Andy Dow. Have you ever helped or taught anyone in terms of design and or modeling? Uh, the answer is yes, plenty of times. I teach a lot of panels at cons, so there I have um, like a room full of cosplayers learning to pose for me. Um, I teach Cosplay 101, which is pretty much how to design your costume from scratch and a whole lot of it. So if you're ever at Anime North, Otakuthon, G Anime, or any of the conventions I frequent, um, double check to see if I'm running a panel there and definitely attend. Okay, and this one's for both of us. From Rodney JG. You have three wishes and you cannot wish for more wishes. What would you wish for? Not to have to answer that question. Okay, that's one. No, but if I don't have to answer that question, that means I don't have more wishes. You can't cheat the system like that. <laughs> that's cheap. Too bad. That's my wish. <laughs> okay. He clearly does not want any of you to know about him. So, okay, I'm going to answer it seriously. Um, I'm going to go with the cheese answer, the pageant answer. I will wish for... Love, happiness, and peace. From RJ Para, would you rather have a time traveling train or a flying motorcycle powered by music? Time traveling chain, train, because I'm big in time, into time travel. It has to look like the Back to the Future 3 train though. Okay, and this one is from Kitsuri. If you could only cosplay one more character ever just because, who would it be and why? Oh, I guess I'll start with that. If I can only cosplay one character, right, just not one outfit, I'd go with Yuko Ichihara, because then I'd never run out of things to cosplay. And your turn. Um, I, I'll just go with Luffy. You're gonna be Luffy forever? It's fine, he has lots of costumes, and he's awesome. His costumes all look the same. No, because there's different splash art costumes. All right. Uh, question comes from Posia. Why did you choose Vicky Bunny Angel as your nickname? Well, that's an interesting story. Uh, Vicky Bunny Angel was my old Hotmail address that I created back when you know the internet was kind of young and Hotmail was a thing to get, or Yahoo. Um, and instead of being, you know, Mrs. Timberlake number 69, I was like, Vicky Bunny Angel sounds cute. I like bunnies and I'm so angelic. So why are you tricky love? Uh, well, Tricky was my nickname in high school, and Love is uh, because I was really big into tennis, so it means nothing. And this question is directed at Tricky Love from Posia. Who is your favorite video game character? Uh, I don't really have a favorite. Right now I'm super into Super Meat Boy, so let's go with Meat Boy. Question from Robert Garrett. A list of cosplayers you'd like to meet. Ooh, that's a difficult one. I meet a lot of cosplayers. I've met some people I've considered my idols, but I guess um, I would love to meet Yuki God Bless in person. I would love to meet Kaname. He's so sexy. And I would love to meet Tasha. And I would love to meet Breathless Air from Cupcake Cosplay. Is that four? Okay, fine. I'll go to five. Five, I would... I want to meet... I want to meet... I want to meet Vulcan. This is from Christian Williams. 
Who, in your opinion, are some of the most positive influences slash helpful members of the Toronto cosplay community? Uh, in Toronto specifically, I would say Don McKechnie, who's known as Kaiju Doll, and Morale Agnarian, who is known as Sarcasm Hie. Uh, those two, you know, I really feel like they're the one, the driving force behind the Costa community and how much it's grown now. And I mean, those two ladies, they do so much work just to make sure it goes to the next level. And Shameless plug. If you have not heard of Costume Con 32, definitely check it out. It is run by, again by these lovely ladies as well as a whole committee full of dedicated costumers, but it is a con dedicated just to costuming and it is coming to Toronto next year. Jamie Cock asks, who are your top three fab league champions? You go first. Uh, Jace, Caitlin, and Vane. For me, I would go Sona, Zyra, and Lulu. Okay, oh, I'm gonna butcher this name, I'm sorry. Uh, Vasilij Vuchetic? Did your friends and family have problems with cosplay? Uh, I think a lot of people run into this issue. I'll just share a bit about my personal problems with it. Yes, my parents didn't understand it. Um, my mom, being a creative type though, did understand that I need to be creative, so she was open to it. Although to this day, they're praying that I grow out of it. But no, I mean, my parents are supportive as long as I'm not hurting anyone or hurting myself. They're supportive of whatever I do. Most of my friends already cosplayed and my parents just didn't really care. Yeah, we got it easy, didn't we? I had it easy. Your parents seem to have cared at least a little bit. I know. Conservative Asian parents, what do you expect? At least they didn't say no, we're grounded. Next question from Margaret Lee. What makes cosplay such a fulfilling hobby for you and what impact has it made on your life? Uh, cosplay is such a creative outlet, you have no idea, like, it's not just painting, it's sewing, it's prop making, it's doing things with your hands. We are pretty much a combination of different artisans, essentially, and like one person. I find that to be so cool. Um, and in terms of its impact on my life, right now, almost all my friends are in cosplay. What I do on the weekends is fueled by cosplay. Sometimes what I watch, what I'm entertained by. There's going to be some sort of connection to cosplay in there. How about you? Pretty much the same. Holly Ellingwood asks, If you could go to any con, all expenses paid, where would you go and why? Um... I'd say PAX. Prime? Yeah, Prime probably, because I haven't been. Except I'd probably never go to PAX Prime because it's always on Dragon Con weekend. That's a good answer. So then if it's all expenses paid, just pay for me to completely go to Magfest. <laughs> like super, ex the, one of the super nice suites in that hotel. Good answer, you love Magfest. Yep, yeah, love you. Uh, for me, uh, I kind of want to go to somewhere overseas, so I'm going to pick the Japan Expo in France. And our last question from Mike Roche. What cosplay character are you most like in real life? I don't know if I'm really like any cosplay characters in particular, but let's just go with, with Homura, because everyone thinks I'm Homura. You know, she's tough on the exterior, but she's a softy inside, and she's really loyal to her friends. Uh, I'm gonna go with Scott Pilgrim, except slightly less of a douche, but still a douche. So you're a douche? I said less of a douche. So you're a douche, but less of a douche. Well, you know that. Okay. All right, and that ends our Q&A video. I hope you enjoyed. Thank you so much again for the support, and we're really sorry if we didn't answer your question. We just had so much, but there's only so little time. Catch you guys later. Bye. Yeah, all three, your life is probably all worthless. Just say world peace. Not world peace, peace for me. I'm sorry, I don't care about the world. I don't say that. <laughs> Why are you entering Stop laughing at me. <laughs> It's not my fault, you're silly. Your turn. You need to come up with five. <laughs> Different ones! I can't even Different name ones. five cosplayers I don't know. I'm not big into the scene, I just cosplay. Who would you- okay, what celebrity would you like to meet? Top five. Top five celebrities? Yeah. Mm, no, I'm not gonna answer that. You're no five! Yeah, nice question. That wasn't the question. <laughs>